inside and outside of Iran, people are questioning the legitimacy of your presidency. So it is important to ask you, Mr. President, did you steal this election? In Iran, expressing one's point of view is fully permissible. It's free. And if a person has an opinion to express within the confines of the law, they are free to express such opinions. I don't see any problems. Would you like to answer that question more directly, given that it is a question that people around the world have asked? Would you like to address the question, did you steal this election, sir? I don't know what you mean by that. Did you create conditions so that you would win no matter the vote? It's very clear. Whoever becomes a candidate will start a campaign and will do his utmost to win. I think we should be courageous enough to accept the vote of the people. It's more courageous than participating in the vote itself. I want to give you an opportunity because I think it's important to react to the video that was seen by millions of people around the world showing the death of Neda. People were very upset watching this. She has come to symbolize the violence in the streets. I want to know what were your emotions when you saw this video? Well, I was saddened as well. All the Iranian people were saddened. We think that this incident is a uh, suspicious death. We are treating it as a suspicious death and we are, we are very sorry about this. And I am sure that the truth will come to light. She has come to represent what some in Iran and some outside Iran say has been a series of examples. Human rights organizations estimate 4,000 people were arrested in these protests. Some are still missing. There are reports of torture. There are even reports, Mr. President, that some women protesters were raped in prison. Your government has acknowledged that some protesters were killed. You often speak of compassion here inside Iran. The question has to be asked, where was your compassion for your people? First of all, all of us regret the fact that some people were killed. Two, the police officers and those who accompanied the officers were killed. Their numbers are higher compared to others. Iran has now agreed to negotiate in what could lead to the first significant talks between Iran and the United States in nearly 30 years. What do you want from the United States? Today, 
a new arrangement should be put in place based on new principles so that the world is directed towards peace and tranquility. We have always believed in talking, in negotiating, in that is our logic, nothing has changed. Are there conditions under which Iran would weaponize? Well, nuclear arms, we believe, they belong to the past and the past generation. So may I assume then your answer to that question is no? My response to what question? Is there a condition under which Iran would weaponize? We don't need such, we don't have such a need, nuclear weapons. So the answer is no, sir? I don't know what you mean by no. I'm asking if there are any scenarios in which you would change what you say is your course and move into creating a nuclear weapon. Am I correct that the answer is no? We do not see any need for such weapons. People will remark that you did not say no. As I've asked you three times the same question, you did not say no. Are you sure you want that to be your final answer, sir? Well, you can take from this whatever you want, madam.